second quarter of town and water sewer review and fourth quarter school or fourth quarter -ish school <laughs> review um, at the session. Um, as I mentioned just now, uh, uh, Paul Cass is excused and, uh, and Charlie is missing so far. Um, the first item I had was that we've had, we put an advertisement for a vacancy um, on, the, on the budget committee um, that went up about a month ago or more. And we have an applicant. Hey. And so, um, uh, Lynn, why don't you um, come up and introduce yourself? We've basically been asking the same information that you provided in your, your letter. Your letter. Um, what's your interest in joining the budget committee and sort of what, what background did you bring um, to the table? Seems like a lot when I look at your record, so. <laughs> right. That's good um, again, so Lynn Spring. Um, I've been living in Rollins Spring for a few years now. Um, I actually have been looking, one of my New Year's resolutions was to uh, become a volunteer of some sort. Um, but I recently participated um, in a leadership program for the state of Maine. I work in Maine. And um, actually a lot of the people that I became friends with were involved in their local town, so that you should get involved in the local town. And so I started looking at opportunities. Um, I just finished that program in June, so I saw this posting, and I'm like, well, that must be meant to be. Um, so you know, as a taxpayer, you always want to know where your money goes and, and how the local process works. Uh, professionally, I'm a controller at Hussey Seating Company, uh, manufacturing. I don't know, I don't know. Just in North Berwick, so I hope people know about Hussey Seating Company. But uh, if you don't, so we're a large manufacturing firm. Again, I'm the, the controller, so I'm involved in the budget process there. Uh, everything from the incoming owner's budget to the operating budget to the cattle expenditure budget, involved in that whole process and doing ROIs and validating everything, asking questions, not picky. Thanks, so I feel like I have a good skill set to bring to the budget committee here. That's it in a nutshell. Mm -hmm. Excellent. I think I read that you have an MBA. I do. Thanks. Nice. And how long do people live in town? Um, I moved to Rollins for be three years in uh, September. Excellent. So I was a Georgia resident for a while and then asked yeah, so where I went to. So. Does anybody have any questions for Mary? Have you had uh, any sort of uh, municipal experience? Or? I have not. Okay. So I don't. Okay. okay. Don't. This is a good group to start with, don't you? Mm -hmm. That's the best one. Sure. I was so impressed with your resume. Mm -hmm. And that you rose to the top of this department in such a short period of time was pretty impressive. Um, so I, my question was more on a personal level. You moved here three years ago, um, and you talked about service, the idea of wanting to give back to this community. What appeals to you about living in Wildswood? What do you feel makes you want to be a part of this community? Yeah, um, so I'm originally from uh, central Maine, and it's like that small town feel. So and my husband's from northern Maine, and when we relocated down here, um, Dover's not a huge town, but it's a bigger town, right? So we moved to Rollins, where it kind of has that small town feel, and everybody knows everybody, and neighbors are friendly, so it was just, this feels like a great community to get involved in. Um, so. Thank you. Uh, well, are we, uh, it's not a question. Are we going to um, take action? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I think, so I, think I was just going to ask for someone to nominate Lynn to fill the position and then have a vote. Okay. And then, you can do it, so. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I'll second. I'll second? Yes. Suzanne seconds. And uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Congratulations. We're <laughs> <laughs> <Very> excited. <laughs> so the next step for you, I think, is to get sworn in. Um, so maybe Suzanne can just go to the, to the town clerk's office. Uh, yeah. I would, yeah. I would They're open 9 o'clock in the morning. Oh, Friday, Thursday. Thursday. Oh, tomorrow's Thursday. They open at night. Okay. Um, three you might four say seven. town clerk four email seven. just to let her go. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I'm coming in so she can get the phone ready. <laughs> <laughs> it's short. It's not a big deal. Hey, Charlie. Oh, great. 
Yeah. Did anybody see any yeah. copies of the budget that were on the table? No, I didn't see anything on the table when we were there. was none. No, I brought those. Oh. Um, can you share with her? I was supposed to have copies on the table. Oh, sure. I didn't. Um, the ones that I have. She can't do anything to me. Can I, can I also suggest if you go to the website? Yeah, the I looked at it earlier. So, can you see some of the training videos out there? So yeah. Really good. What did you catch that there are some training, there's some reported training? And, uh, I've watched it. You haven't yet? No, I can't. So, with that, I think we can um, move on to the next item, which is. Um, Second quarter town budget, and I think we'll ask Denise to present um, with the budget uh, yeah. status. Um, and uh, for the lens benefit, usually um, the select board will, a representative will kind of give a, an overview of sort of things that they see in the budget that, that uh, are maybe not tracking the way they anticipated or issues that we see foresee coming up as expenses that might be off, um, off target. Um, and then we usually go through and people ask questions um, specifically on line items where they have questions that I answer. So. Does anybody need a hard copy? Do I have two more? Anybody needs them? Do you want them? No, I got Okay, very good. Thank All you, right. though. All right, so um, we're in really, really good shape. This year we're at the total on the back. You would see that we're... Um, 36 percent. Um, so uh, I tried to to help you all, tried to give you some little comments on the side under the notes explaining like one-time expenditures and um, if there was something different on in something that happened in the, uh, the quarter or something that would help you understand. So um, is there any questions? I mean we're really we're really pretty good. Um, Town on the executive side, just thirty-one percent spent. Um, the only thing that was higher than normal, and I think I mentioned this the last time, is we bought Forever stamps because they were going up. So we bought what we thought we would use in a year, just because we wanted to save some money because the stamps went up. Um, so um, let me see if there's anything. Um, in the MS seven, I mean the MS four um, printing and copying is going to, um, that's, I don't think it's going to go over, but um, it's a little high, so we um, we know we're going to have to do some um, mailings and copying because of the new requirements for Stormwater. So, um, any questions on the first part? Okay. Yes. Yes. Do you want to walk through by, se by section for questions? Or is that well, I, I was just going to go by section, yeah. Well, I'm still on the first page. Yeah. Is that okay? Yes, so you're talking about, yeah. you, you're presenting executive office? Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Sorry, yep. Okay, that's fine. Charlie? Okay, line four. Can we just break down on that line? Rather than combining it? You mean each time? It, it, I can give you a personal breakdown or another sheet. It, it has to be Just, you can put it on the side. Because it's Caroline and the bookkeeper. Is yep, anybody else? And um Salome. Salome. Yep. Can we just get a breakdown of that? I will is that, can we have a vote on that? I mean that's work for the town. So yes, it is. The budget committee should come from the budget committee. Yeah, that, that, that should be shouldn't it? Yeah, request for probably can't vote just yet. No, she can't. No, she only and she has to get one in before she can vote. Um yeah, I mean, is it, is it the direction of the entire committee to do that? Is what we should be. So I'm, I'm guessing that Charlie is making a motion. motion. Okay. Do you have a second? So. Okay. All right. Um, all in favor of that? And, and so to, to discuss for a second, what you're asking for is a breakdown. It's, right now it says um, we're at 40%. Yeah. And so what you'd like to see. What you're suggesting is that there's a breakdown by position. Yep. The reason why that is that way when they get a when they come for budget at the end of the year, we can find out if there's a different percentage 
who's getting what. Well, this way you can put down 3% and you don't know if they're all getting 3%. That's the only reason. Well, I'm not, sure, I'm, I'm not sure that that will tell you that. Because you also have to understand that we've only had our new hire um, less than two months. I'm not sure 100% of the time that you know he's been here. So that isn't, um, I'm not sure that that's going to, I'm not sure that's going to help you. I mean, when we asked, it would be across the board usually. That's what the um, intent of the board has been. So, Charlie, your, your question, or your, you would want the information so that you could see that if there are three people, did all of them get 3% or did one person get 3%? It would help easier at the end. That's the only reason. But is that the budget committee's job or is that the select board job as far as deciding who gets pay right. raises? It's right. the select board's so, job. It's oh. the budget committee's position to accept the our total. recommendation or modify it. It is our decision. Even who at gets. the individual level or yeah. just at the total? No, at the total level. Yeah, that's what I mean. It yeah, just gives me a better idea on the final item. That's all. Actually, it's not the budget committee's job to approve across the board. I mean, it's the just, budget committee's job to approve that bottom line, bottom which contains line. Yeah, what they so. recommended. But if they decide, which they did last year, removed money from salary accounts and adjusted the bottom line. So, yes, that is their responsibility to approve a bottom line, and they modified that. But it's not their responsibility to say to um, us that you must give the everyone across the board two percent. It is our responsibility to do that because they don't know what goes into um, employees or different based on um, work ethic and whatever. So it's, they can't dictate to us how to do it, but they they do have a big say on how much goes in. For a second. Oh, got second. One, so, uh, so are we ready? Are we ready to vote? Any more discussion? Okay. Did we? Is it going to give you the information you need? Yes. Would it be helpful. Yeah. It'll give me what the three people are making. That's all. Well, if they, yeah. Charlie, that's what? what you want. Isn't there a better way to do it? Can we just ask for their salary or their hourly rate? Well, we don't give the salary of the police. Or, um, pardon? We don't get the salary for the police, but okay. individual. We don't get to teach it. This is just one line. Three people. I, it, I'm trying to understand what you want. If you want to know what their what their hourly rate is, I mean that's just the one. No, I just want to know what the salary is for the year. You do get that for police. Hmm? You get that for police. We get a lump sum. We don't um, get individuals. Um, we get, get the there. When, when it comes to to the raises, or when we approve a certain amount, we don't say, okay, this officer is going to get three percent, this one's going to get two percent. We don't usually see that. I don't think. Is that what you're saying, Charlie? Yeah. Basically, so you want us to be able to see the salaries of the admin staff broken out in the budget? Yeah, just those three people there. It's only three people. It shouldn't. It's only three people. people. Oh, it's not difficult. It's just why. I mean, why are you pulling out three people out of the whole entire employees? I don't. It's the only item we're on right now. Just. But are we going to do this for everybody? No. Because this. I mean, I don't. Let's I don't know what we're going to do with the information after we get it. Chop. That's what I'm saying. Let's call the vote and see where it stands. Okay. I'm going to do this one. That's a roll call. Just ask a question about consistency from one budget to another. So the chief is broken out on a separate line, but is that because his status as an employee is different than the three people in this um, executive office budget? Well, the chief is salary, yes, not hourly. Okay. And the people in the individuals in the line that we're discussing right now uh, are all hourly. Uh, they're all hourly. Uh, one second. But I think also it's just there's only one chief. If there were three of the town were big enough and there are a couple of deputy chiefs, you'd probably see the total for all three deputy chiefs. It just so happens you, I think you can figure that one out for that particular person. But the cops, the individual officers, you can't, which is, I think we, to what Charlie said, we just do a vote on what people have. I think I understand what he's looking for. It's not a secret. I mean, yeah. I mean that, it, and it has been supplied for police as well, but it just not at not at this, at this position, yeah. right? I mean, it's more about when you're doing your budgeting. Mm -hmm. That information is supplied. So I'm going to do this by roll call vote because it feels like there's some back and forth. Um, 
So, Suzanne, would you say yes or no? No. Um, Denise? I'll say yes just because I'm not going to say good pen had an answer. Uh, Angela? No. Uh, Emily? No. Paul's not here. Charlie George? No. Um, and Joe? No. And Charlie Dion is a yes. Yes. Bob, I think? Yes. That's exactly right. Yes. Why can I have you on my phone? Oh, you're on the next page. Um, and Peter. No, it's a no. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six no's and three yeses. So the no's carry. Okay. So we'll leave it as is. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So we are still on the um, executive office. Is there any other questions on the executive office? All right, hearing none, we'll move on. Um, elections and registrations. Um, this was a uh, one year election, so pertaining to the election part of it, there will be no more expenditures on it. Um, but the town clerk salary, clearly, there will be because that's even under there, but she still is only 50% spent. Um, And, the, and number line 39 will also have more activity on it. But anything to do with elections will not. Do you have any questions on that? Okay. Move on. Financial administration. Um, the audit is done. However, I believe we still do an invoice, so you're, you are going to see another payment to the audit. For the audit, that's line 45, um, and the tax collectors are fine. Um, Treasurer just got one payment out of his um, for his salary. Any questions on that? No? Okay. Revaluation. Um, we're on to control there. Questions? Who are we using? Avatar. Who are we using? Avatar. Avatar. Have we ever sought out anybody else to do that? I, I don't know the history on it. I know since I've been on, no. But we also have a contract, so. Um, but that's a yearly contract, correct? Um, it's not a, we seem to have been the only one that we've had that. We've seen the other mm -hmm. mm -hmm. auditors in other towns where I own property. I'm just curious. Why are the only ones we use? Is it a cost factor, or is, or is it because we don't use them, or what? Does anybody have the answer to that question? Suzanne, do you know how much along the last contract was when you were on? I think it's a you know three-year contract. I thought I mean, it's, it's got one of those clauses, so any income in the board can always change right. it. I mean, part of it is um, it's like with the the auditor, I think. You know, we're a small town, and while it's from a business sense, you, you you know, it's a good idea to go out and do dealers. Sometimes it's just some of the staff around to, to better to evaluate all of these things. Mm -hmm. And so you build a relationship, and you know, we use their software. And mm -hmm. anytime you have software with data in it, is the, the the resources required to make the the, uh, the change to a new system. Mm -hmm. And so, which is not inconsequential usually. So, those are just, it's not, a, you know, that's just how it has transpired when I was on the board. Right. So, right. it's 10000 a year during a normal year. Like when we, they did the full reevaluation a couple of years ago. I mean, no, the number, that was a much bigger. Number. Yeah, that was like to the tune of maybe $75,000, $80,000. Okay, so yeah, that's this is, this is uh, for every year for the, they, they provide us new maps. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They, um, they do other services for us. When people ask for abatements, they'll mm -hmm. review them first mm -hmm. and give a recommendation to the board that yeah. then has the final say. But why haven't we put that out and compared so at least we know what the cost factor is from other places? Well, I don't think they felt it was needed, to be honest with you. Um, so when we talk about it, budget, if they're up, I'll, I'll make that question and ask if they think it's necessary. Also, on the um, when they reevaluate the whole town, that's if one article that goes through, 
Oh, it was a separate one on yes. just for that. When they do the reevaluation, yes. yeah, yeah. Because it's a much bigger job. Right? Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Um, personal administration, which is um, okay. So. Um, the one, thing, the one thing that we are over on is the background checks, and that's because we had to do nine this year for recreation, because we had a lot of new, not returning employees, but new employees. So we, that was unexpected, and then we had two for two new hires. So we do it for anyone who's over the age of 18. Training. Uh, um, line 53. Could you give us a breakdown on the health insurance? Why it's so low? Um, I can ask for a breakdown. I, guess the I know there was a change in, in change in policies and an anticipation of a of a change, which didn't happen yet. So it, but I, you can't talk about individuals. No. Um, yeah, so I can't give you any more detail. At this point, is it, you know, we're, we're under. So should we be thinking next year? Exactly. We we yeah. may be right. shooting lower. So so it's something we'll we'll see how it plays out. Exactly. Goes, goes through and, yeah, but we um, know that you know we were expecting a change that didn't happen, and then we had um, we had several openings, as you are well aware, in the police department, so those things changed it a little bit, too. And so some of them will marry the ones in whom... Well, uh, I can't discuss single. that because no, that's I, like I, confidential. I, no. But, um, so, yeah, I don't, I, we're definitely not going to go over as far as no, I, I know. Well, as far as I know. And yeah. it's better to be under than over, and yeah. it will be probably be looked at very carefully, planning for 2020. Who do we, who do we use for uh, insurance, self-insurance? I can't. I don't know. I'll have to ask. Do we um, we used to we jump on the same bill that the state gets for that. For example, they use Edna and on the last go around. A lot of times you can get the same budget for the same same cost. I should say the same breakdown. I don't know. I will ask who it is. I I, I knew, but I don't. It's not coming to me. This is something I should know, pardon me, but what is the AB, change to AB20 plan? That's just a policy number, so, um, some change to an AB20, which is just a different plan within the, okay. yeah, and I couldn't explain <coughs> it, but it, it, um, there was a change to that. Can I ask a question? Am I, I don't know. Well, You're allowed to ask a question. Do we go through a broker, or do people go, I don't know who's in charge of the health, the health insurance, or do they go direct to market and... Do you know? Have we used like uh, you know the the group that had to be split by the state? It's a municipally. Uh, it's part. It's Primax. Yeah, it's Primax. Thank you. I knew it was going to come. <laughs> For health, prime, they do health too. I know they do property casualty, but anyway, it, it, it's it's a quasi state subsidized mm -hmm. okay. something like that. Sorry, by. You know, I'm not in it all every day. No, anymore. no, but you're helping. Thank you. Thankfully yeah. so. <laughs> yeah. If it's not Prime X, I'll let you guys know. Um, okay. And the training was the budget committee training that we've had here this year. Um, so it's a little high, but it was just a one time event. Um, any questions on that? Any of that category? No, but I learned before that. Workers' compensation. Workers compensation. So one fifty-seven. Okay. Yeah. So it's 60% expended, but mm -hmm. it, is it paid in full, or is it something that's paid quarterly? I believe it's not paid in full, because okay. that wasn't something that they told me. Um, I don't know if it's monthly or quarterly, but I can ask. So it's one fifty-seven. Any other questions on that category? All right, planning and zoning. Pretty basic in that one. Any questions on that? All right. We're on going 
Government Buildings, Line 73. Um, Anything really, we're not too concerned about um, heat. I think we're going to be okay there, even though we're through the tough time. Um, electricity um, is pretty, pretty close. Uh, and the last two lines. I've got are, a few questions on heat. Okay. Okay, the town hall, 60%. That's the same number it was in the first quarter. Seventy-five percent. I'm sorry. It was sixty. You're right. Yeah. Sorry. But also remember, the budget committee reduced that line by a thousand dollars. The budget, uh, the school board, uh, select board wanted ten thousand. So yeah. it's going to be tight because our yeah. projection. It's number eighty-three. Highway. Highway was sixty percent first quarter, mm -hmm. and it's still sixty percent. Oh, they leave we the doors open out there and take advantage of ambient temperature. I know, they, I know they don't like heat because they don't turn it up. Well, they're not there. They're out in the truck. So, yeah. I mean, I'm not concerned about it. We know that all the, the, um, the uh, bills are in, so I'm not really concerned at the 60%. Um, they may not have had any more. Um, so, Denise, also, the town hall, we see the number for sewer, water, heat, electricity. Mm -hmm. That also includes the police that section? That's correct, okay. yes. And then um, the hydro rentals, it's one payment per year, and then the municipal taxes is two payments per year, so. Where are those two? Where, where are what two? The Dover and Summersworth hydro rentals. In Dover and Summersworth. And we pay for them? because we don't have hydrants out there? I believe that, um, because it's on the Dover line, it's not necessarily in Dover. It's like on Route 4 by, um, right on the corner of Oak and Broadway, oh, or in right. that area. Right. And in Summersworth, it would be on the Summersworth line. Kelvin. Kelvin South Kelvin, Kelvin or even Pinecrest, Pinecrest. Pine 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 so Dover. it's on the, it would be on the I got Dover Water, water so and I've got a hydrant yeah. up the street. So it's okay. on the line of it, not necessarily in the physical, but because they're supplying the water. Yeah, it's closer to them. Yep, them. absolutely. Yeah, that's we don't have thought, water on those ends. I figured I'd ask to yeah. be sure. Um, cemeteries um, looks looks good. I mean, I'm not sure if we've got the latest bills on that, but um, property and liability insurance is a one payment a year, so we're good there. Regional association is a one payment a year, so we're good there. Um, so on, on line 109, police department. Um, Not really. Okay, well, we can talk about overtime. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I know that you, well, most of you should know that we were short three police officers, one for knowingness and two that left us. And so, and we didn't have a lot of resource for uh, part time employees to do the shifts in which they needed to be covered. So, a lot. Um, some of our remaining full-timers were doing those. So that's, we are all set now. We are fully staffed. Um, we, except that we do have one at the academy right now. The other one is um, fully, I believe he's even out on the car by himself. Our um, other police officer who was ill is back full-time, which is exciting news and just a miracle. So, um, so we are full staffed, so I don't, I mean, it's not going to say we're not going to have any overtime, but in the bottom line of the police department, I don't believe we're going to have any problems. The chief is aware of those lines, and he'll react accordingly, I'm sure. Yes, Susan? Would it be safe to say that, on average, one hour of overtime costs us more than one hour of a part-time lease? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. because we weren't able to use part-timers right. as much as we might have liked to during this time. That's why we're It's we're gonna seeing. be whoever was on shift, their hour their hourly rate and overtime rate. Okay. Yeah. One of the things having been in that business for twenty eight years, 
um, there's a shortage nationwide of people who are even available as cops. Um, Rollinsville being a very low paid area has traditionally always had a ridiculously high turnover rate. And for some reason over the years, um, we've had a number of people that they could have hired who lived here in town, but their salary is 50% of what they were making mm -hmm. if they came here. So that's going to be a continuous problem. The other thing is the part-timers, while you can get them cheap, um, the other end of the scale is you have some liability factor there. Plus, there's not a lot of people going into it. All of the towns around in Stratford County are having difficulty with that. So you can expect that number to go up. And the only way to keep their retention rate, particularly when they hire new people, part of the reason why the new people all leave this, there's not enough education here. If you go to a place like Rochester or you go to Manchester, you need a lot of activity. Unfortunately, for years and years, this town has never wanted to hire um, properly certified officers who are in the mid of their career. Um, I know, as I said, there were three of them that I knew here in town, and they were more than willing to come to work here, but not at 50% of the pay they were getting elsewhere. So <coughs> it may be cheaper in the long run to put one person on as a cop. It costs you twice as much for the first year because of the cost of the training, the cost of um, the uh, FTO program, etc. You've got one year in the toilet. If you can extend that out 10 years, you get a payback on it. Mm -hmm. But if you only keep it for the two to three years on the contract, we're losing more money than if we paid more money. Mm -hmm. And that's something that needs to be considered. I mean, when the chief goes, when he finally retires, we're going to get hit hard because you're not going to get a chief to come in for any one meal or work anymore. So. I agree. I agree. It is, it is, um, it's a very, we are um, not paying what the local area yeah, is uh, paying. Uh, it's, that uh, is. This is one of the lowest paid areas around. Yeah. Okay. You have to go to Middleton to find anything that's as is, is low paid as we are. Yeah. So that's a topic that was raised by the chief when he gave his presentation. Yeah. And he, he will, I'm sure he'll make that point again. Yes, um, um, we did, just to let you know, because um, with people leaving their salary, um, there was some salary available, and we did give them a bump up in their salary um, in the um, early part of the year. So, some of them, I mean, they all got something, but it's nowhere near what, what the area is getting. Nowhere near. So. We're working on it. And these one, one of the, the dispatch, that's, we outsource that uh, to someone? They are Stratford County. Stratford County. So yeah. that's a fixed. So yes. Wouldn't we, we expect it to be like fifty percent for half the year uh, versus eighty-five? Um, what number is that? One thirty-seven. I will ask that if maybe we're anticipating an increase and it didn't happen or something. I, yeah. Let me just say. Uh, let me just ask if that is complete. I guess that dispatch is different from the fire department. Yeah, fire department uses Dover Fire or uh, Dover <coughs> dispatching because um, I don't really know. I know that um, Stratford has never been an option for them. They've always done the dispatching through Dover. Through Dover. I, I have a question on the police. Yeah. Do you can you comment on the contracted services, which is line one for me? Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 We've got uh, forty thousand. Uh, appropriated, which we, we're going to have to raise one way or the other. But that's normally, normally that line has the offsetting revenue that's even right. more than that. And so, so it's a little, a little worrisome to see that we've only paid out $8,700. Is there, is that just because we're still, we're still not into the heavy months or? No, it's because we didn't have the staff to do it. Of course. <laughs> That's the bottom line. Yeah. So what is contracted services? services is when you have a tree company that's coming in and, and it's going to be dangerous for people on the road oh. mm -hmm. to be there. They have a police officer who um, guides them around or, or something, but they also go to other cities and towns and, and do that as well. Um, and city, other city and town come in here if we needed it and ours aren't available. So they get paid through whoever... Um, is doing that service, uh, or um, we get paid from the town 
that's doing that's needing the service. So, and then so the contract and they get a um, big chunk of it, and then town also gets it as revenue as well, some portion of it to, for the car and that you know. So they have a part of it in their revenue. The problem is that what they were expecting to do, they just had to turn them down because we didn't have enough people to do their job. So because of that. Well, we might have a problem, yes, right. and that happened last year, too. Yeah. 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 Assuming the revenue is higher than the, than the project cost, I don't like it's a, it's a, we get paid more than it costs us, right? Yeah, but, yeah, but that goes to, that is, goes to its offsetting it on the, for the town, for the cruise use and stuff. Right. Contracted, the, the contract services for the employee. I think that's what this part is. Yeah, no, I get it. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. But by not getting that revenue, that we're not going to get. That means we're, it's not offsetting the budget. It's not right, the budget right. And that happened cost. last year too because we did. They didn't have as many assignments to do. We were, right. I think we lost Lee. Oh, we lost Lee. Yes. So, um, you know, this might hurt us at the end of the year for revenue part of it. Hopefully, we can capture it somewhere else. Um, I just had one question. On the DARE program, mm -hmm. that's a, is that a one-time? That is a uh, that is a one-time, but the, it will probably be in the fall. Um, what grade is that? I think it's five six. Okay. Yeah, so they go into the school and do it. Um, it's a program that they do at the school, and um, I don't think that. Yeah, yeah, that, that hasn't happened yet. So it would be probably late fall. I would think. I don't know. Do you know? You do it in the spring. So, well, well, it could be that they didn't have a staff. <laughs> once again, I'm not sure. You yeah. know what? I don't think I it did happen this year. Okay, so. It might do it every other year. Well, you wouldn't put it in if we weren't going to plan on doing it, though. That's the thing. It's, 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 I don't yeah. know. Is it every year? Generally, every year. Yeah, I thought so too. Generally, since um, I've been doing it, generally done. But you have to have somebody that's certified for it. That is correct. And if that person's not here or you're short, that's the first thing cut. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's unfortunate because with the rate of addiction yeah. in this state, mm -hmm. that seems pathetically low to me. And, just, it, and it shouldn't just be five and six. I mean, it should be almost. Yeah, that's not the entirety of the. Drug uh, okay. education at the school. It's just the specific dare for yeah. the police coming in to. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know it's a. You know, my son had it, like five, six grade. It was a great program, but it's one and out, then you got. Mm -hmm. Right? I mean, the cost of addiction itself mm -hmm. is phenomenal. Yeah. Versus prevention, what you're putting into prevention. I'm just. No, I, I totally agree with you. But this was just the uh, stipend for them to go into the school uh, to do it. But I'm, I'm pretty certain it's only five, so it's because they're combined classes. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. I, I just can't remember if it's only five or only that would oh, determine whether yeah. we do it every year or every other year. Yeah. Maybe five, six, they would do it every other year. Yeah. I just. But uh, I'll find out why. Actually, but yeah. if it was supposed to be in the spring, it was probably because we didn't have the manpower. Although I know that. Uh, no, it's not an author. Um, Perkinson. Mm -hmm. He did it for us uh, and does it, but he went to the um, sheriff's sure. sure. department. Yeah, so I don't know because he's the certified one, so they might have given him the stipend, but I will check on that. Okay. Anything else on the police department? Okay. Fire department. Um, the. Um, Dispatching, that is a one payment a year, it did go up um, before we went up after we were um, through with the budget process. It's not too bad, but it did go up a little bit. Um, their, uh, their training is on target. Um, Mark knows what he has left, and um, I'm sure he's going to be working within that. Um, let's see. Preventive health. I oh, know. First aid, um, I know that he um, just turned in a PO for replenishment of his first aid supplies. I'm pretty certain it is contained in that. Um, but again, it's something that you just can't control. If whatever you have for calls, you have to use your supplies. So if it needs to take it from another line. So. Um, mutual aid is a one payment a year. And everything else is, is pretty good. Um, he, he is having some heavy um, vehicle repairs. 
It's okay right now, but we just approved a couple of big bills last on Monday night, so um, nothing to be too alarmed about. It's first forestry, but um, yeah, we're seeing some. Is that the old? Yeah. It's the pickup truck with the side end thing. Um, you know, just it's old. Yeah. It, we got it used, and mm -hmm. it's just busting out and um, having some issues. So. Don't be surprised, it's CIP. This <laughs> 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 so isn't a question on the, um, the budget today, but I did, I did not get a chance to put the minutes together from our last meeting, but we did vote to, yes. to ask for a uh, breakdown. So when the chief does come in next year, we will, we will have a, a, how the, the salaries are broken out for the, for the firemen. How the salary is broken out, the point, point system? system. Now, you know, we're going to break that down, understand that better. So it's not obviously necessary right now, but when he does come, it'd be nice if he has time ahead of, ahead of time, yeah. so he's prepared. For yeah, the motion, that. I think, was points, how you get points, and a three-month sample. Yeah. And I'll update. I'll, I'll, I will do those. And that was voted on. Yeah, I, I have a hard time understanding it, and I've been involved in it for years, so, I mean, it's... it's but I will t I'll remind him of that. If it's so complicated, I would hope we could make a better schedule so they can get a decent bet <coughs> so that we can find out wh what they're getting. Because if you got a lot of calls in three months, you're going to get a little pay. If you got a few calls, you're going to get more pay. I'd rather have it more consistent if we could. No, that's not true at all. It's the reverse. The if you have less calls, you make more money. No, you don't. Per call. It's call divided by the quarter. If you've got less calls, you have less points. Less points divided into a quarter will give you more money. If you have more calls, you have more points. More points into a quarter will give you less money for that quarter. Simple math. I don't think it's that simple. I thought they were paid by the hour. They are paid by the call. They are paid by the But they don't have a set amount. We're, we're, we're veering off. Yeah, we're veering off. But I will ask Mark to make sure that he brings that to, um, with him. Could you check the minutes on that motion? Yeah, so, I do have that. Thank you. Um, and um, there's just as a FYI, that we don't really pay the, the fire responders. They're not. They're not employees. Yes, they are. Are they employees? They are employees. They're not volunteers. But they don't get. Uh, are they still filling that category? So they get. Are they? Do they get benefits? No. Or? Okay. No. So sometimes there's a line, that's the whole reason for the point system, is it's not... They don't, yeah, they, they're, um, they're, they have to be employees because the law changed. So they're not volunteers getting whatever you wanted to call a stipend or whatever. Right. They are employees and get based on the times that they, they work or are there. Um, but they don't have, it's not a per hour dollar amount. It's, it's based on the points in the yeah. Okay. But they don't get medical or I mean they don't get they get Four times they get they don't get no, no, no. But they, they are covered under workman's comp and they are covered under um, disability, disability I would assume. Yeah, yeah workman's comp and disability would be the only thing. Okay. Thanks. Okay, any other questions on fire? Okay. Building inspector. Right on target there. It's still Tom Clock. Yes, it is. Okay. Highway and streets. Um, Excuse me, on the building inspection, yes. are there offsets to that? It's over, slightly over budget, but is that just uh, well, what, um, more permits pulled, more work being done? Um, he's, you know, he's a salary. Uh, there was a small um, discrepancy in what we were, that didn't, didn't get budgeted, so we're going to resume it and we're going to pay him what we said we were going to do. Okay. Uh, it was it was a very small difference, but it's it will be part of the selectman's budget in in total. Um, but so we will probably run over just slight over 100 okay. percent at the end. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And it it, right. it will be that way at the end too because um, there was a discrepancy in the in the pay per hour or salary. Um, Okay, so highway, uh, road agent, um, full time, they're all um, within 
what we're expecting anyway. Um, any questions on 180? Yes. 180. Yeah? New Hampshire State Retirement, how come that's so low? It's only 25%, first quarter was 11.
Who has it? Police. Well, police. Well, police fire does too. Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's a lot of those um, preventive things that when you're dealing with um, waste. Else? On line uh, 200, the street lighting. Okay. Yeah. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? No, okay. we're next. Okay. My own, I just had a question. We talked about that there may be some incentive programs with uh, Eversource mm -hmm. or lights. Mm -hmm. Did anybody look into that? Well, we we actually got some um, folks. I think I put them in here. Um, for buildings, we haven't got the street uh, lighting uh, lighting one yet. But we did ask for them to look at it and give us a, okay. um, a quote. But um, we have um, we have asked them to do this um, program to make all of these um, buildings with the proper lighting and stuff. Which is see, it's a pretty good. I don't, I'm not sure I have it here. Is the board active on the area? We still reviewing it. I we just part. got we just got the applications okay. um, at our last meeting, and we did, really didn't have time to review them completely. But we have um, we have it for fire, uh, town hall, transfer station, and the highway garage. And what it does is it's it's um, each of them has. I don't think I have the whole thing with me. Um, there's the cost, and you can do it by. Um, it's not really a loan because you're taking it out of your savings of what you're you would have paid. So, um, but what it, um, each one is separate. So we're going to look at it and see if there's anything if there's any money in the department's budgets, like for highway and transport and fire, to see if we can maybe do it this year if they have <coughs> money in their account to do it. Um, this one's the most expensive probably because this is this room this upstairs and downstairs, so this would be the most expensive one. But um, we'll get a, I'll give you a better update when we meet again, um, but we, we just got it, but we want to make sure we review it properly. But I think it, there's a big incentive to do it, because you save half. For the buildings, and, and they are looking at street lights as well? Which is yes, we, that is on our agenda, and I believe it got asked for that, but I'm not 100% sure, but it is definitely something we're looking at. But I guess the decision whether to do anything here with the town hall is kind of dependent on the whole police phase. You know, I mean, well, what? that's still up in the air, um, for sure. But um, you know, doing this project here will save us immediately. So um, even if we haven't come to a decision on what we're going to do with police. Um, I think it would be wise to still do it here. You're not going to tear down the building. Yeah. And so whatever you're going to do here, it will benefit if it, you know, if it goes for sale or whatever um, by having it already done. And we're going to save while we're still here. Mm -hmm. So because that's still two years out, even if you're going to build the station, mm -hmm. um, because you, you couldn't make a decision until March, and then it's, it's a year construction. So mm -hmm. it would be worth still doing, I believe. Oh. Okay. Any other questions on the highway? The only one that um is on highway is uh we did the street lighting, so sanitation is Oh also yeah. The other thing I wanted to make sure I think we're I'm the only thing that was on the highway was the salt, but I think we're okay because he had gotten quite a bit anyway to start the year, so then you would only have probably December to worry about. So I think we're okay even with 73%. Sanitation. Um, it wasn't really the conference and dues, that was a certification training, so we're, we're okay there. Um, I don't believe we're going to have any more activity into that account. Um, there was a question um, on recycling hauling. Mm -hmm. That contains a 2018 invoice, so that's why that's so high. We are over, though, on both the tipping and the regular uh, municipal solid waste dental hauling, so I'm wondering if, you know, we have some increased budgeting on those lines. We have a of some funds there. So well, yeah. For next year. Well, for next year. Yeah, yeah. For next yeah. year. I mean. Well, because it also changing from um, what do you 
call it the jail, but single, single stream to um, separation so, again cost us some money to do that. Well, as well. It, it looks like what's happened, I mean, it's just conjecture, is that people, you know, if it's not single stream, well, I'm not going to bother, and I'm just going to put it all in, mm -hmm. in municipal solid waste. So that increases the amount that we're that we're having to pay tipping charges on as well as hauling charges. Mm -hmm. So it's just yeah. an unfortunate. Fact There's also a charges. number of things that you can't recycle now. Right. Right. So right. Things that we yeah. were, yeah. were required to. Yeah. 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 The, the other problem, I don't know if you guys saw, it's been in the union leader several times. Hooksit, for example, just found out that their recycled materials that they were paying $70 a ton versus $55 for their trash was going in the exact same dump because no one is picking up the recyclables. In fact, um, a number of towns, there's quite a series of articles on that, a number of towns have gone to just straight up trash because wow. it's actually cheaper because no one's picking that up. So, and, you know, the Chinese were the main buyer of that and they are no longer buying that. So, it's a nationwide, actually it's a worldwide issue. Yeah, yeah it's, it is. It's, yeah. Absolute, it's a good NPR piece on it. Mm -hmm. that we're uh, listening to uh, that money. <laughs> I listened to that one. It was very yeah. interesting. Yeah. So I forwarded it to, to uh, Are there any recyclables that actually produce a profit? For example, glass. Is recyclable for glass? Aluminum glass. 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 Cardboard. Excuse me? Cardboard. Oh, yeah. Cardboard. I think yeah. we glass do glass, glass too. Glass is glass. 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 Oh, okay. There's one other one that does. Aluminum and tin get, get recoverables and paper. We'll get some some okay. money back for it in cardboard. Yeah. We'll get cardboard. I understand it's down now too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is the plastic such a big problem? Mm -hmm. Primarily, it's huge. Yeah. 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 And they're, they're saying in this article, just to deviate <laughs> for a second, that uh, if you throw a bottle in a recycle bin and it goes somewhere like China or some somewhere in the east, it's more likely to end up in the ocean because a lot of times they take their waste and dump it in the ocean. So, so uh, if it goes in the landfill, it, it seems bad, but it's better than the ocean. It was a horrifying, it was a horrifying it's segment. Horrifying. So, uh, 206. Why is that 73%? It's a combination of um, highway and um, Sanitation, because you won't see it in the highway side. Okay, it, it's the combo. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I noticed it's a big jump from yeah. twenty to seventy-three. Uh, and the two eleven, the demo hauling is that just for those dumpsters to the right as you come in, where people pay to put like yeah. construction in. Yeah. So is that meant to be revenue neutral to the town? In other words, so we're showing more being pulled away, but what we're not maybe showing here is the fact that we collected more in fees. And is the fee the correct amount that it's fully covering for being all the way, or is it really meant to be more of a town service and it's kind of subsidized? Well, demo is, is like for um, carpenters who are doing it. Like that's demo, right? And we do charge for that. And we do charge for it. Yeah, yeah. I'm not Are sure it's it charging enough. I think is the question. Right. To cover our expenses. But which like, is why it's helpful. It's, it is helpful to see revenue. And I know that. I know yeah. there's a problem with it, and we will yeah. get it to you yeah. soon. But um, but there are other things that you know the the refrigerators and all of those are a different. Well, we charge for that too. Though, yes, right? we do. Yeah. yeah. There's so, a fee. There is a fee schedule yeah. for yeah. different types. Yeah. But I will ask if we feel that I will find out if fee. Um, versus uh, cost is looking good, so, um, but I'll find that out for you. I understand we also had someone come and, and take Freon out of bridges that we were paying to have done before, so right. that's a lot less, it's a, a big, big savings for yep. the town. Yep. On 216? Yep. Uh, Brush chip, are we going to have enough money in that account? Um, I know that he's going to start burning. Um, he has worked with the fire chief, and he's going. They're going to build this really deep pit with um, Jersey berries around yeah, it and yeah. stuff. So they're going to start burning again. Shipping is costing us a lot of money, that. so burning wouldn't. But they need to be careful um, because when they were burning down there before, um, he was going all over CNJ's buses, which we cannot allow that. That's why they're going down and kind of trying to keep it enclosed. 
So they are going to start. I'm not sure when they're going to start doing yeah. that, but they told us about it, and the fire chief um, gave his blessing at the meeting that that's, he's working with them closely, and they're going to try to do that. So um, I don't see where you're going to probably have too much more on there. I think he'll start doing Yeah, because in soon. October they won't do much. Yeah, yeah. So I think that, you know, they, um, probably when it's not so hot, they might start burning. <laughs> um, Thank you. Yes. Um, so uh, going down to health, um, that's a one payment a year for your ambulance. Um, animal control. Animal control is heavy in the springtime because they're um, trying to get the licensed dogs, and so there's a lot of hours for that um, in that time. So we're, we believe we're fine in there, um, so we're not worried that it's going to go over. Like, but it's mostly the, the time when you need to license your dogs that she works more than normal. And the license to the state. That's on based. That's an estimate, and it's based on how many dogs are registered. And we only do a guesstimate, so we were off a little bit there. So that's what she has to turn. Uh, she, we have to. Kate does that figuring, and we have to pay a little more than we were expecting. But that's, that's a one time. Okay. That's a one time. Yeah, it's done for the year. All right. Um, general assistance. Um, Community assistant organizations, we pay those at the end of the year because that is based on if we have enough money to do it. They're budgeted, but um, it's usually towards November-ish that we will uh, send out those contributions. So it's, it's a good, it's really, uh, it's really not uh, comforting to see those figures, I guess. And it's steadily come down across the last mm -hmm. five, six years. Yeah. It, I think it's a combination of consistency of the application of, of mm -hmm. uh, processes, mm -hmm. and I think also the probably the economy and some of the changing uh, housing portfolio in the town that may be all contributing to that. It's, mm -hmm. it's nice, to, nice to see that. Um, parks and Recreation. Um, <coughs> we have, two, I think it's three, two or three more weeks of the program. <coughs> Um, these, part, these numbers probably are not 100% accurate because the, they, there's a lot happening that, that isn't in here. So um, I, as soon as we know after the program is, we'll have better ideas and I can send you an update on that for you. Do you have any idea though? Oh, we're, uh, it's, okay? it's, it's, kind of a, it's kind of a wash with um, tuition that they pay to go to this program, so I have no worries whatsoever. I just know that some of the expense is probably not in there, yeah. um, but I I believe that the program will be pretty solid, yeah, pretty, pretty close. Um, Do we know so. how many people go to that? Um, there was, I think they said the last meeting it was 85. I think there was in in Camp Raleigh. Now, 85 don't go every single day, but that's what we had for registrations, and I believe it was 13 in the team. So it was a pretty good, it was a pretty good um, head count. And they, they pretty much paid their own way on that. They pay their own way. Yep. Okay. I mean, basically, that's what I there's you know, if something is unexpected, it it happens. But I, I'm not sure that there is. I, I think then um, the town used to subsidize. They used the, to the budget. It was like a, like a twenty thousand yeah. dollar expense, and so I think the board really worked with the the revitalized rent committee to, to, to try to encourage it to be revenue neutral, so that the town was not. That's it. It's pretty much been that way, but it wasn't always that way. No, which, that's what she's saying. That yeah. the, the, it was strictly on the town at the that time. Was, but that's why I asked the question. Yeah, we you know we've run into a few snafus this year um, um, for our space because the school is doing some really awesome. Projects, <laughs> however, <laughs> causing us we we don't have a, a lot of room for the last two weeks of the program. But American Legion stepped up and said okay. you can use the hall, no cost. Okay. Yeah, that's so and it's only during inclement weather. So because you know we can use the grounds and we can use the bathroom facilities at the school. But so yeah, so we were um, so Legion stepped up for us. So we were really appreciative of that. Um, but yeah, it's a great program and. Um, We've had some real positive feedback from it, so hopefully we can continue. Um, 
library. Um, there's a note there that it's incomplete. I, I don't think that we get our bills. I think what happens is that they who's in the library here? And you? You're the friends. Okay. But my understanding is, and Suzanne can correct me if I'm wrong, is but we we pay things like in a lump sum, right? We because have given them, like, uh, yeah, we give them money. They'll come, the treasurer or whoever, one yeah. of the trustees will come and can we have a payout of blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And they put that in their account and use it for all those you know, things that they do. are in their budget. Yeah. Do, so. yeah. So it may be like a timing thing that isn't 100% of what is, um, it might be a lump sum, but it may not be 100% of what is going to be expected. So you need, if they were shorted, they might come get more before the next quarter or something. Right, but they yeah. usually stay within their stay budget. Stay within, it's it, yeah. It's just right. Like, but we're not probably. concerned about it at all. So, um, the other, um, those are all paid one per year, um, and usually, uh, let me see, we don't have the industrial commission. That is not something that we have paid at all. So I'm not sure that. Well, we only have a dollar in there, so this is a placeholder. But we definitely do the navy Art committee, um, the historical committee, conservation. So, and the pay, uh, the uh, first one, two fifty five. That's all taken care of. That there won't be any more coming on that. That's um, flags for the cemetery. So, and so that's. This is where we stand. Any other questions? Okay, I will um, go through my notes and make sure I send you guys an email since I have a chance. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. 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 Thank you. Thank you. So, next up, Bob, how about, how about water and sewer? Water and sewer. Does anyone not have a bucket? Yeah, just... 
I think it's other, we call it other contracted in here. Yes. Uh, bear with me. Lots of pages of information. Okay. Other contracted services. Um, Mostly it looks like dig safe, hussy septic, which is uh, hauling. Okay. Hussy septic, just so those of you who don't know, our sewerage only goes to a certain level. And when we have the sludge that's left over from that, we do not have a process of form. So we hire Hussey that takes it over for substantially cheaper than it would be for us to run it. They take it over to South Carolina and there's a contract for you. Yeah. That's. But you're going to ask about legal. Well, I'm asking. And we have about, some rather large legal bills. I'm asking about one in particular. I'm asking about the breakout because I think there's more than one thing in that, and I'm just curious to understand what is causing the overage and what are the various items listed under other professional services. Well, you you saw the right here thing. Yeah. That started before the first of the year, so that's a carried over. We're paying the bills now. Yeah. For something that was put in, and that's what water and sewer on that. Yeah. For those who don't know, can you explain what that is? Because I don't know what you're talking about. Um, they hired an engineering firm. There's some problems with the system. There had not been any upgrades on a lot of things. There were a number of things like not flushing the hydrants, the pipes clean, etc. So they brought in right peers. They put together a package of <coughs> recommendations. Um, to the tune of $1.2 million. That was the gentleman who did the thing a couple weeks ago. Right? Correct. Okay. Absolutely. So they started over a year ago on this, and we just got that. So okay. that's where most of that stuff came. But is Hoyle Tanner in there too? Hoyle Tanner is partially in there, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. So was there were you guys under budget last year, yeah. and this is just carrying over, or is this this was an overage? Budget work that was known about last year. Yeah. Again, let me ask for anything is a longer history on this than I. Well, the right Pierce contract started. In, I mean, really got going about September, March or April of 2018, and as a one-year contract. It came into 2019, so there were some still some billing in 2019. But not built into the budget, is that? Yeah. Excuse me? But not built into the 2019 budget? I, mean, I wasn't the one did, that, well. When did it be known that the, there was still some? I think there were some budget reductions at the annual meeting that may have reduced all line items. I'm not entirely sure how the commissioners would have addressed individual line items with their budget, but the budgets in total, the two together, the three, administrative, water, and sewer, were reduced by about $80,000. I don't know where those shifts and changes happened from what the budget committee approved. So that happened at the annual meeting by the vote of the membership. But that's not, I, I'm just explaining that. I'm not making a judgment there. I'm just explaining that's what happened. What I'm curious still about is the breakout of Wright Pierce, Hall, Legal, and Hoyle Tanner. If you have any kind of details on that. Is that a question? Yes. Well, I'm, uh, Bob is, uh, if Bob is representing well, the... Well, the asset management program was $40,000 in total, but the district got a... Um, Reimbursement of twenty thousand of that. Oil tanner was about forty five hundred dollars. Forty five hundred. Yeah. Okay, that's helpful. Thank you. And Hussey is how much a year? I know Pardon? that's Hussey. How much generally do they charge a year? I know that changes well, depending on how much. Like we had a lot of sludge this past year that made it worse. I, I I hate to point this out, but the budget for this year said we spend a hundred dollars on sludge hauling. And we've gone way past that. $100. Okay. Um, well, and then legal? Yes. What, so is there a total on I'm, I'm trying to understand. I don't have a Well, this is through June, and we still have bills coming in. Mm -hmm. 
you don't have you, you don't have legal through June. Do you have how much you pay for legal through June? I think if that's you the can question. hold on a moment. I'll look that up. Okay. Telephone, telephone, telephone. This, that, this. That. We had a uh, <clears throat> unfortunate backup on, the, on one of the streets. And there was a settlement for that. That was one legal issue. Um, looking for the illustration truck allowance of chemicals. Uh, it's so much easier when I have the whole computer that has all the data in it. Uh, utilities, telephone. I'm going to say about six thousand so far. From okay, all thank, legal. You. thank you. That, that's at least in the ballpark. That's how it's Thank you. But and, some and of those bills are still coming in. Just okay. so you understand. But not particularly budgeted expenses. But there's a lot of things that go in that category, and I'm just trying to understand Correct. what's there, what was budgeted for, and what might not have been. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions? Just because I'm new and I'm really not familiar at all with the water and sewer, can you tell me how many residents actually use these services in, out of our 2,600? There's 751 accounts. How many? 751 accounts. And that no. includes mostly this part of town. The inner circle, uh, the extended woods of Woodland. Too. I'm Everybody that has water has sewer. Too. No. Uh, no. 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 Sewer no. ends at the Karras. Yeah. And water ends at General John. Oh. So a sewer so a subset of water? I mean, there are more water no. users? No. Uh, there, there are more water users. But what happens is the real expense is on the sewage. So a lot of people have septic uh, town water. For example, the garage up here. Um, last thing I knew, they are not hooked up to sewage. They have they have a separate hallway system or something, but they get city water. So the water is fairly inexpensive, but the sewage rate is outrageous because every drop that goes through your house is presumed to come back. So if you have sewage, um, that's what raises the rates. And because we have such a small district, Prices substantially higher than it would be, for example, in Dover or one of the larger towns around here. How a lot of other communities who are facing this challenge dealt with that? Funny you should talk about that. It depends on the communities. There's quite a few communities having this problem. Wakefield, Littleton, I'm trying to think of who, who some of the others are. Mostly smaller towns like this. Um, there's a combination of things right now, correct me if I'm wrong on this front, but I believe everybody's in compliance currently, but there's potential new stuff coming down the line. And one of the things that we asked was us to spend $1.2 million, but we cannot go to that debt ceiling because we've already got debt on water and sewer. So that would require, uh, I think it's $56 more per quarter per person, uh, per per household, or per um, per account, what you're calling it. Yeah. Accounts. Um, so that's a substantial leap. And compared, for example, to Dover, Rochester, Farmington, for example, it's substantially more. Um, part of the problem was there were no upgrades for a period of time, and then this. There's been some management issues, uh, I would say, is the easiest way to explain it, um, as to why things weren't done on the time it was. We had, uh, one of the things we had to just recently change was they were overdrawing the General Sullivan water, uh, and we got a nasty grant from DES on that. And um, so we instituted using Porter Well, which requires more work to run. Um, so that was one of the fixes that's kind of brought it more into line. Um, there have been some sewerage issues, but um, 
Mostly it was the head break earlier this year, it's 23,000. It froze up, nobody bothered to check the building. And it froze up, the heat was off, and it snapped. And the uh, insurance, I believe, was 21,000 on that, wasn't it? We had to pay the rest of it. That was in 2019 or was that 20? 2018. 2018. But the bill came through. It had to be fixed, that's part yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but that, that money came out of the 2019 budget or the 2018 no. budget? Say no. No. 2018 budget. It, it occurred in 2018. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so there has been um, the cost factor, probably the biggest problem right now is the Willie Street issue. Two years ago, um, they hired a firm to come in to do this thing called the Ice Pain Willie put super cold water through the pipes and flush the um, flush the sludge basically that sits because the rope goes down, hits a dip and comes back up again and it sits at the bottom of the barrel. Um, it was supposed to have been redone every two months for at least a year and then periodically, I think it was every six months or so after that. So um, after the first time, for whatever reason, it wasn't done. So they just started this past week, which we're real happy to see um, doing it. Unfortunately, there was no notice sent out, which normally you get. So everybody's got to check their filters where their water is because they turn them on and all that rust and what have that's in it. Um, we had uh, right Pierce, uh, one of the things we're looking at is replacing those, potentially replacing those pipes on that street, which is 200,000? 200,000? Between 200,000 and 230,000. 230, okay. Estimated. Um, but it may be slightly less because we're looking at replacing them, which they recommended the less expensive plastic pipes, which seem to be holding up better nationwide and have less sludge. But you're still going to have, because you've got iron pipes, you're still going to have rust and what have you coming through. Uh, the flushing every six months would be a plus for that. It should have been done. Why it wasn't, I, I wasn't there. Um, and uh, they did do it the other day. I know they did it on my street because I turned the water out. And then I called to find out and they said, yeah, they were doing it. But unfortunately, nobody got the notice because you should take the filters off and all those little screens that can cause your system to gum up on it. Usually they set that out, but I think better to have that done and we'll work on the notification next time. But um, that hopefully flushed some of the stuff out to help. Uh, folks on Willie Street. So Bob, can, can we, uh, I mean, this is interesting, yeah. but really we should be focusing yep. on, on That's the budget. <laughs> budget it is. We, we all do that. So, yeah, not a problem. But, uh, Does that answer everybody's question on that? Yes. Well, I have, I have a question. It's like there is some serious problems that are occurring with the water district, clearly right. Willie yep. Locus Prospect. Yep. And so what do you think that's going to do to this year's budget? Because some of this stuff can't wait. That's clear. Correct. Uh, and that's what we were meeting with. Well, Tim gave on that one. Correct. We've discussed it with them. Yes. Um, the big thing is the financing, which is part of what the attorney is doing, because we may have to do some alternative financing. There are uh, private companies that will do cheaper than the interest on this one. Mm -hmm. But we can kick that can down the a little bit to make that work now, not later. Um, so that's from a budget standpoint. Until we get a cost, everybody's batting around numbers. Well, about this much, about that much. But the 1.2 million, you know, full well, we can't even borrow that kind of money. Um, you no know, one will own us that. I mean, this is a suggestion. I mean, yep. there's a town, and I know there's a district, and within the town, this goes back to the balance that the right. town has left over. I mean, is there anything in the state that says? That, that 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 balance within the overall town budget can't be used as a loan out to a, an, associ you know, an associated part of the town at a more reasonable rate. No. No, you can't do it, or no. No, I don't believe you can. I, I don't think you could either. But the, the money is generally all of this money, and that's been part of the problem. There were different in, in the government, the federal government. We talk about colors of money. This one is for fuel. This one is for repairs. This 
Right, but this money we don't have that. No, but this money is under the control of the select board. No. 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 They're their own entity. Oh, I know. Oh. I know. But, but still, you're saying our fund balance? You know, I, I don't live in the water district. Yeah, this is my view on this. Topic. Yeah. But I know that if it's a problem that's not solved, it does really affect me anyway from a tax rate standpoint and right. everything else. So mm -hmm. I think it's all in our best interest as a town to solve that problem mm -hmm. in the most cost effective way as possible. Mm -hmm. And I'm just kind of brainstorming and says, well, if the town has a, ba has a balance, and it's up to the select board what they want to do with it. Well, write a loan to the water district that is reasonable interest rate with whatever I'm going to return for a little bit. So, like so I, you know, I appreciate you bringing that up. And I think, I don't think it's necessary to say no to that idea. I think it's worth exploring with the municipal association to see what the possibilities are. And the other thing to look at in the long term is a low interest revolving loan from DPS, which has an element of loan forgiveness in it, uh, principal forgiveness. But we don't, we missed the deadline for June this year, and we wouldn't qualify again. We couldn't submit until June of next year. But I think you know, those two avenues are certainly something we could consider for the bigger project. The emergency thing that we're talking about, and I know we're hugely digressed, and I apologize for that, but. I wanted to respond to your kind of suggestion. Being someone who's in the district, both water and sewer, I really appreciate your attention to that and kind of generous spirit. Thanks. Um, I'll ask the question. I don't think we can use our fund balance, but I'll ask the question. Yeah, and, and again, I'm not saying move it there permanently. I'm just no. saying yeah. it is alone in their district. They have responsibility. They have taxing. They have rate ability to change rates. Mm -hmm. It could be a cheaper way to solve a problem. That's from a from the water district's perspective, the ratepayers, yep. and to make the town better as a whole, really. Yep. Thank you. That's nice. But as long as we spent this much time digressing, <laughs> could we just ask maybe the sewer and water district to give us a preliminary estimate of where they think they're going to be before we start looking at budgetary considerations for next year? Because, you know, realize that you're still in the fact-finding stages right now, but as a budget committee member, I'm going to be concerned that we give you the resources that are necessary to meet this emergency. Can I make a comment, though? That it doesn't come out of town funds, though. You understand that, right? It only comes out from the people who are in the district who are paying all of those bills. We have to hear it. We have to vote on it. We aren't paying for it as a town. Only as a district. I'm not sure you knew that. That's I understand that. Okay. But okay. don't we still approve the sewer and water? We do, but we don't fund it. But, we, think, but I, don't we need to know? No, you're the, right. We do need to know all the rest, but... Okay. So just to, oh, just to help, help yeah. you out, Charlie, we, you were in last last year, but we do go through that budgeting process where the water sewer district will come forward and, mm -hmm. and they'll lay out their budget for... For 2020, and they will. They, that's the time when they should have all those mm -hmm. answers and and, and uh, you know what what the anticipated costs are going to be and how they're going to resolve their, their various issues. But there is an urgency to do that, right? Sure. There is an urgency, and furthermore, um, we're still awaiting our auditor's report, which is weeks overdue. Um, so to give you a number, financial, is this a financial audit or an audit of the system? No, financial audit. We're waiting for the auditor to come in to see where the money is. Um, and we're supposed to be in this week, and it's not. So we'll let you know when it comes in. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions? Are, are there three budgets? Somebody mentioned three budgets. Water sorted. I think that the administrative budget must be collapsed into this. There were three budgets at the, at the annual meeting. I think that they probably did have the, the administration because that was for both. So they had it separate just to look at it and then the water was for. Uh, so it's all in the budget, but I think it's probably all It's all in two budgets then. Yeah. Proportionate share of the administration, seven to last line. Okay, thank you. It was pulled out separately. So we covered water, but we've also covered some sewer. Is, are there other questions for 
water or sewer that they have for, for Bob? I just thought just a, a rate setting standpoint. So the, the total budget, is that basically you take that number rough math divided by 750 and that's the rate that people, no. I mean there, there's nothing else that goes other than what's on this budget that goes into the rate setting <laughs> for the, uh, for the uh, right. I this, Bob. Okay, so again. Um, Can I do this? Yeah, go ahead. You tell me. You are looking at expenses, that. not income. Okay. Right. So that's gross expense. Mm -hmm. Rates are totally different. <coughs> but the rates have to cover the expenses. It's right. Not a, right yes. It's not a profit making enterprise. It's meant to have enough rates to cover your expenses. Yes. Right. So is this 95% of all the expenses that go into determining the rate structure for the residents? The rate structure currently is based upon. Is it 15,000 gallons? 15,000 gallons per quarter per household. Per household. So, some people, you have a house with a single person in it, mm -hmm. they have to pay the same amount as somebody yeah. who's actually using it. Then you pay extra for it. And that's the current situation. One of the things we would like to do, probably not going to happen before the first the next year, but we would like to charge people just like you do with electricity based upon how much you actually use, not that. And apparently that came in years and years and years ago. So um, a lot of people are paying more than their yeah. fair share. And other people are paying substantially less than they paying extra. Mm -hmm. So um, that's how the rate structure goes. And it's but it's meant to cover when all that is said and done at the end of the year, it's yeah, it's supposed to cover it. But it's an expensive basis. Of course. And so these are the total expenses for the split of the current total. This is the total expenses that the rates have to cover by the end of the year for it to be a wash or enough to have some. Correct. Okay. There's no other big expense item that's not on here that goes into determining the total cost it is to run not currently. So when you say that, when we're talking about Willie Street, right, all if that you other add 220000 into yep. that, that's going to knock this off to happen. Yep. Okay, thanks. Um, just so we understand that. Mm -hmm. so there is a fund balance. But I, um, on the second page on the sewer, sorry, page, on the sewer budget, I did just notice that sludge hauling is separate. It's on its own line and separate from professional other professional services. And um, to date, it's about 32%. The budget's about 32% spent, 9,500 spent year to date on that. But it's, I just wanted to point out that it's sludge hauling is separate from professional yeah, I, services. I didn't do this out. This is. I didn't, really, I didn't notice it either. But I just. So, so earlier we thought that sludge hauling was part of other professional services. Is that, that's why we That's why okay. I yep. noticed that's that. That's what she's talking about. All right, so it's no. not part of other professional not services. Not from what I'm having on sewer budget. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Any other final questions? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just take this in. Thank you. I think it's just a general question. What happens um, if we go over? Where's that? Just cover it. No. We are share. That didn't take you no time. That take you time. Because then everybody in town doesn't even get a benefit from that. What happens if there's a budget? What happens? What happens if say you know you do Willie Street and you're a hundred thousand dollars over budget? What what's the before we do that? We make sure that that's appropriate. So you don't go over budget. So do you go to an average budget? We would have to go to an emergency, emergency meeting. Yeah, yeah. And get approval. That's the process. I mean, you can't, what you the can't spend for you. Legal, you can't spend full budget. Oh, yeah. No, I'm aware. I just right. wasn't sure what your process was in the water district. What's, what's the fund balance amount? The what? The fund balance. What's the amount of that? It's not on, I don't think it's on the I don't one. see it in here. I don't know what you're going to do. It's a balance sheet yeah. item, not an income yeah. item. I think it was a little over 300000 No, oh, that's, that's, that's cash. cash. Yeah. It was too high. Yeah. Yeah. Some way there about, but again, I have to look on the exact number that comes out and it changes. Yeah. All right. So we move on.
line two. Uh, what, what, what I have? Sorry, one Sorry, more. Go ahead. So when you do get the financial statement for the auditor, do you publish that? So is it publicly available? How, how does the yes. public? Well, as soon as we get it, it'll come out of the public meeting. We'll have to deal with this. But we haven't even received it. No, no, no. But I mean, I mean, is, do you post it on the website? What, what, what is, what is the process by which people can look at the financial statement? I've never seen it, so I don't know. Um, my understanding is we'll just like everything else, bring it up to the public meeting, and then most of that stuff gets posted, so it'll probably be posted. I think so. If there's a change, I'll get back to you. Any more questions for Bob? <laughs> All right, Emily, you have the floor. Um, so I have provided you with the um, last budget that the school board uh, has approved, which was as of June 4th. Um, so unlike the town, um, we are in our fourth quarter. So this budget is coming close to its end. Um, July 31st is the last day of, of um, our 2018-19 budget. Um, so you'll see most of uh, uh, what we have here is um, expended uh, or encumbered because it's an end-of-the-year expense. Um, so just a few updates. Um, we had a lot of projects that um, we approved uh, throughout the year because we had some overages um, in our budget um, and we also built a bunch into the budget. Um, so just as an update of, on those things, we have um, the cupola is now repaired and painted, yes. which has been so long and coming, yes, yes, years. yes. I've watched the past one <laughs> and an hour. <laughs> no longer. Um, so we also have um, replaced the intercom system, which was a safety issue in the school. Can I ask a question on yeah. that? Um, is, is there any way we can make that intercom system not announced to the entire neighborhood every oh, single right. time somebody uses that? I have no idea. Was there a speaker outdoors? Oh, did, believe me, you can hear it. Anyone at my house, you can hear it up on um, the Prospect Street. Oh, oh yeah, so it's loud. Really it's loud. <laughs> is it just happening loud yeah, now? No, it's, no, it's, all, it it's been like that oh, for like yeah, three years. just did it over the summer, so... Maybe with our new change in the intercom system, you will be pleasantly surprised. <laughs> <laughs> what page are we talking about? Oh, I'm not on a page. I'm sorry. I'm just giving you a little update on the maintenance stuff that we have done. Um, so uh, the parking lot has been expanded and resurfaced, um, and we will be taking lines on it soon. Um, the gym floor is being started next week. The main building entrances, the paint's being scraped, um, and broken pieces of wood are being replaced. Question. Um, and then it'll all be repainted, yes. I noticed that as a guy who has to have an EPA license to work on his own properties. I noticed they were not following lead safe procedures there. And for a school, um, I'm kind of curious why they were, didn't have the tarts, etc. I don't know the answer to that. Um, I, there's certainly a possibility that it's been done in the last 20 years, and maybe there's the, the mitigation's already been done. I'm not sure about that. I don't think so. But yeah. it, it should have been because of children being in the school. That's one of the things you have to Yeah, have. certainly. I agree with you. I'm not, I don't, I so yeah. it, you, you may want to follow up with the contract because while the painting looks fine, um, the scraping and what have you, without the tarps, without the cleanup, Absolutely. They didn't have the plastic you got put around. None of that was up. So I don't know. I mean, I'm not. I you don't may want to check. There was not change on it at all. So um, there's certainly possible that there was not. No um, worry about that. Um, so where else am I? Uh, the building main floors are all being redone. Uh, or the, excuse me, the main building floors. So we redid the floors in the annex side of the building uh, last year. I believe it was. And this year we're redoing them in the upper building. They were very old tiles that were popping up and creating safety hazards. And the new ones are, they, they're going to save us money in um, maintenance and in floor polish and in 
um, save us tons of time. Uh, they look quite lovely. Uh, I think that is about it. Um, one more thing that is mostly budget related, but one of the um, goals for the school board this past year was to um, look for ways to work with the town so that we could share resources and save um, everyone in town some money. Um, and I am happy to report that uh, the school facilities director has actually come over here um, to the town hall to assess some things and see um, how we could uh, make some improvements to the building because he has some skill set that no one currently working in this building has. So he's done some assessments on improvements um, for this building and how to um, you know renovate things like the floors or whatever so that they're um, they're better materials to use in this kind of establishment. Um, so hopefully. Um, more of that will continue over the next year at plus, and um, we'll see some more cost savings um, because of that. So, uh, this is largely what many of you saw the last time. Um, it hasn't changed too much, um, except for really some encumbrances for some of the work that I mentioned. Um, uh, and then we have paid out our last special ed payments of the year. Um, one thing I would like to mention in the revenue line is that um, we, we expect that our Medicaid reimbursement will not be what we thought it was going to be. So um, we'll probably end up with a negative in that line. Um, however, we have other anticipated revenue that will make up for that. Um, so it is not a concern at all. Um, and at this point, Budget time, we had a surplus of three hundred eighty-two thousand nine hundred thirty-seven dollars and fifty-two cents. Mm -hmm. Is that after all your special projects? That is, I think. Uh, I think that it's all the encumbered. Yeah, I think it's all been encumbered. If not already paid out, yeah. Yeah. So. Um, we do have some um, fund balances that we give money back to for um, uh, as part of warrant articles. So I think it's twenty five thousand to a special ed um, fund, and I think maybe tuition thirteen to I don't remember tuition to the tuition one. I can't remember the exact total. Two, 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 five, this year. Two, two, uh, two students. Two students. Okay, so we do have a little bit of money that will um, be allocated to those funds, and then whatever remains will be given back to them. So, um, yeah, I'm on the last page sure. of your budget, page six. And so my question is about uh, the transfer to the capital reserve. Yes. Of seventy-five thousand. So, the, how much is in the capital reserve, and what are you reserving? So, for? so that is a little bit confusing because um, it comes it, the way it's drawn is um, you vote on it on the warrant article, mm -hmm. and then it comes out of the following year's budget. Even though you voted on it for last year, it's it it, it kind of happens in arrears. So this year we are not putting. Um, are we putting any? I can't remember. We're putting no money into the capital reserve because we have met kind of what we believe to be, and I think it's somewhere around one hundred and fifty thousand. That, so that's what we're there. Okay. Yeah. And what would you use it for? Were, were any of these projects funded from your existing capital reserve? No, we're not allowed to do that. So the only way we can spend money from that account is to get the the. Um, of the taxpayers, so it's an emergency fund. So if a tree crashes through the roof and we spend that money, then we um, will come to the town and ask if we can spend that money. Also, you can do it as if during the budget season and you wanted to take money from that. But again, it has to be on the ballot. To, it has to be on the ballot. Yeah, it has to be on the ballot yeah. to allow we you can't to do it. Spell it, spend it. So it's not just a really billing. Really. Yeah. Joe, you have a question? Yeah, I do. Two, yeah. two questions. What is on the transportation side? So there's kind of like... Go page by page. Start at page one. Four. Oh, jump. Right. Well, we, okay, go ahead. <laughs> okay, i got to follow up on teacher's salary. 
Yeah. I asked a question. Yeah. And the next night you had a budget meeting. Uh, I gave you the answer. And you gave you the answer because I knew you were going to do this to me. Huh? I no. can't remember for no. the life of me. It was a step. Thank you. <laughs> well, I, I'm not going to add you. Uh, but you gave me the like, answer. Oh, I don't next remember night. what the answer was. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Um, okay, page one, anyone else? And two? This question kind of goes across all the different sections, and it, and it goes to what this, I'm trying to understand how these numbers come up, what the salaries are, let's say, for teachers, mm -hmm. and then the benefit line. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I know from my prior life, when I was doing budgets, benefits were like, you know, you take a base salary 25%, that was vacation, medical, and so when you can tell people this is what your basic benefit is, you know, it's not just what's in your W-2, it's all these other things. But across the board here, they're all 47, 50% on top of the salary. So I'm just trying to understand what else is, and I know you're budgeted for it, but I don't understand what that number yeah. means since mm -hmm. it's so much, okay. it's so out of line with what I've seen before. So if you take, um, yeah, we you know, like, uh, and then take regular education, uh, 1100, so you have teacher salary, 615,000, and then you have aid salary and sub salaries, and then you have regi regular education total benefits of 318. So that's like about 47% of the 674,000 in total salaries. So I'm just trying to understand what makes up all those benefit Let numbers. Me, um that question I my gut is telling me that it may have something to do with retirement right. um, and and what we pay out um, for retired teachers but I'm not 100% sure on that so I'm gonna get that answer for you okay is there a, maybe a misunderstood yeah Could I have something you just said are you saying that we have a liability for teachers who are already retired? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I need to figure it out. Okay, should I may have misspoke. Should not be. All retirees in the state should be in the state retirement okay, system. Retirement. And once you leave, it's not the town or the city. You can't go. It's okay. part of the Maybe state I'm not, holding. I'm not the contract salvation for retirement, which is a okay. line in itself. That's for us to say this teacher can retire. Got it. Okay. Money. Okay. There's a retirement in there if you get caught it. But it's when you have a teacher who wants to retire, there's a certain amount of a benefit that they get to retire. Yes. Yeah. The one that's been there for so many years. Yeah. Having an older teacher who wants to retire, there's an incentive for them to retire. So then you can turn around and. So, for example, you allow them to buy back extra years or something like that. For example, yeah, the not state. Not the F few I'm not sure. Yeah. I haven't gone no, for a while. But that retirement in there is. It's like a package to have people retire. Let me get the real yeah. answer for you. I think that's 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 Understanding between <coughs> what we thought we were paying for for um, special education and what Marshwood was actually billing us for. So first of all, last year I think we got two bills throughout the year, so it was difficult for us to kind of gauge what to 
to what to budget for for the coming year. So um, that was two years ago, actually. Last year, we, we increased that um, so that we were able to budget a little closer to the, to, to, um, the, the true numbers this year. And then um, we had a misunderstanding which what was a unit. So in a, what we were budgeting for a unit was an hour's worth of time. So we had over budgeted, whereas their unit was a class period, which is only 40 minutes worth of time. So we had budgeted over um, do that. So there's some overage there. And that resulted in th this year's, yes. next year's budget being reduced. Yeah. Uh, yes. approved. So we should be much tighter next year. How many uh, students do we have overall? Maybe this is something everybody else knows, but how many students do we have overall and how many special ed students do we have? Um, I don't have that breakdown, um, but I can tell you as soon as I get to it on my here. Okay, our enrollment at the Rollinsford Grade School is 151. I'm sorry, I didn't care. 151. Okay. Our enrollment at the Marshwood Middle School is 54, and at the high school is 109. And we have, yeah, we have one at Summersworth, still a special circumstance. Um, yes. I don't have a number of special ed students um, to give you, however. Other questions? I do have one more. Yeah, sure. Um, the, the transportation side, <laughs> I'm look in New Hampshire, what are the rules? And I'm, just, I'm assuming transportation of the buses to take kids from the streets yes. over to. Now, with so much of the population, my sense is being almost, let's say, this downtown area, is, is, is anybody can get, I mean, in New Hampshire, anybody can get transportation, whether you need it or not, and no matter where you live? Um, yes, we are required to bus, I think, up. Do you know what grade it is? No, but I know that it's required to have sidewalks. If you don't have sidewalks, you have to bus. So there's yeah. all those kinds of rules that go into Because it's the same amount and the same number of kids yeah. over to me. Mm -hmm. Same number of kids going even further. It's mm -hmm. the same. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Yeah, so, yes. And we it's a tricky busing situation because we do have all in Kelwin, um, yeah. way over there yeah. to, you know, and across downtown. The and across, yeah. But so, anyway, so it's all yeah. state-driven. As far as yes. the okay. yeah. Thanks. Yeah. We all also struggle um, because we're so small and we have such a strange makeup. Um, when we put the last transportation bid out to bid, um, we got one viable. Yeah. I see one bus go by my neighborhood with one kid on it. I could yes. do it cheaper, you know. Believe me, I've told my husband many times we just start <laughs> The options are very limited. Very, limited. very limited very options limited. for yeah. passing. Yeah. No, no, no. I, I hear your, I hear your point. That's mm -hmm. for sure. For a student body, everyone out. Anyone else? Charlie. Not on page two. Page three. Page three. Follow up on testing. Top item. Fifty-three twenty. Mm -hmm. Three thousand dollars. Again, the next night we got the answer. Mm -hmm. They're not using that testing this year. Mm -hmm. And thank you again. You're so I didn't catch all that. But <laughs> Charlie had asked a question about why we um, we hadn't spent our testing money yet, I see. being that school is almost over. And the answer is that we no longer use that testing. So it will not be expended. Other page three questions? What are the distracted learning centers do you use for? Wait, excuse me, say that again. What does this pay for? Distracted learning centers? I don't know the answer to that. No urgency. Page four. It may be more into the weeds that we need to get, but I was just curious. Yeah, I don't know. Page 
four.